just had a fantastic experience at the DMV. I was only there for about maybe 15, 20 minutes at the most, which is kind of unheard of in Santa Monica. But if you make an appointment, then you go in. So that's the recommendation. Otherwise, how long does it take? I don't know. Days, oh. weeks, months, potentially your lifetime before you get what you need at the DMV. So but here's my question. Yeah. Did your lady have really long nails? Like really, really? She did. And braided hair. Awesome. All right, we're heading up to Pacific Palisades. I got to pick up one of the Palis Palisadian Post newspapers because my article just came out. I'm going to check it out. And then we're going to go somewhere. It's, it's kind of a hike. It is a hike. It's really, really amazing. It's going to be very, very cool. It's called Murphy Ranch in the Pacific Palisades. And we're going to tell you all about it very shortly. into a place called the Murphy Ranch at Rustic Canyon. It has a sordid history. Creepy history. Creepy Nazi history. It was a Nazi encampment in the 40s. I gotta tell you, I'm a little nervous. I'm not. I'll take care of you. Bam! I guess I'm not that nervous considering we see, just saw a couple come out with two, uh, with two dachshunds. They didn't say they just went to the ranch. They knew where it was and they yeah. probably took their wiener dogs with them. We're in the right place. The trash cans are tagged. Back in World War II, Supposedly, there was a group of people uh, that were Nazis, I guess. That's what it said. And uh, holy cow, this is really steep Whoa. looking. Now, these so-called Nazis, they were uh, trying to get prepared for the, I guess, the Hitler to come over here and take over America. Not gonna happen. now on a fire road. Nobody around. Incredible view, so. Whoa. Do you see that? That's not good. Old classic Ford truck for the taking. Anybody want to create a rat truck? Right down there. Been on this fire road for about 20 minutes now, zigzagging up the mountainside, looking for a chain link fence, because that's where the stairs are. <laughs> the creepy Nazi stairs. We're gonna find them. Chain link fence, right there. Oh man. Now, didn't he say that there was, didn't he say there was a second, second opening that we should go down? You know what's worse than this? What? We have to come back up. I'm starting to have trepidation. 
This does not look steep, but trust me, it's steep. The only good thing about this hike right now is that when we check our stats, when we get back, we're gonna have some serious, serious flights. Oh yeah. The stairs are so long, I'm considering peeing right up the stairs. Yeah, this is not creepy, not at all. It's almost like a ladder now. This right here is the bottom. You're almost there. You know what? I think we took the wrong stairs. You should have a sign. I think it's this way. I think that's where we need to go. More stairs going down even further into the depths. Check this out. We just passed two girls, two other girls, with two other tiny dogs. How bad can this be? Well... <laughs> oh, there it is. This right here was a Nazi camp. Hidden way down in here during World War II. And then there's a stream. Right over there is a stream. We're gonna go down and see that. And then there's this over here, which I don't know what this was. Let's check this out first. This is the garden. Wow. Like I said, Creepsville. Wow, this is incredible. Look at this place. What is up with those Nazis? I'm gonna go in the back, see if I can get in. I'll be right back. Maybe there's an entrance around here somewhere. All kinds of cans, spray cans. This used to be open. It looks like they boarded the whole thing up so you can't get inside. Check out this hole. Yeah, you don't want to fall down in there. There's lots of cans. Yeah, it's official. My legs are killing me. And we only walked down the stairs. Made out of concrete. Very serious. Hey, where'd you go? There's Kathy. This whole roof is painted. Wow. Amazing. One hundred and sixty-six stairs. So far. So far, right here. We haven't even hit the main section of stairs yet. Not even close. And you know what I'm feeling? My butt. I'm feeling my butt right now. Your butt? Yeah, I got my hand on my butt right now. All right, these are the stairs that we're gonna go back up. Yeah, that's like a ladder. Wow, it has to have a handrail. at 300 stairs and Kathy just breathed in a nap. She's vegetarian. She's vegetarian. It's extra protein, I guess. Now we're at 400. Woo! We're at 500 steps and we found a camping spot. What makes you think it's a camping spot? 
Looks like a camping spot. I don't see spot. any fire pit. <laughs> no tents. I don't see any glamping opportunity. Ready for a grand total? Six hundred and ten. All right. Six hundred and ten. We go back down. Let's go. Unexpected. Oh man. Kathy found this uh, strange Nazi compound thing this morning online. She wasn't even looking for it. Man. Boom! Here we are. Or there we were. Not anymore, because my butt is killing me. <laughs> A new car has shown up at the pad. Officially, it's the Fiat 124. An Italian Miata, basically. It's gonna be cool. This car is really tiny. Not a lot of room to hold the camera. I gotta put it on the outside of the window. $24,000 of awesome. It's actually quite fun. I didn't even know that that place existed, and I've been here forever. But it's really cool to be able to show you guys some of this stuff, and that, that's the whole point of this vlog. There are many, many excuses why we don't do things in our lives, and there's really only one reason to do things, and that is because we love them. Many times, you give yourself an excuse as to why you can't do something, and we're here to show you. We do this on a daily basis. If we think of something cool, we just go do it. We don't second guess it, we don't question it, we don't doubt it, we don't think of all the reasons why we can't do it. Our job is to help you guys get out there. If you're in Australia, if you're in Japan, if you're in New York, you gotta do your part. That's to start the dyno, get the engine going. It doesn't really matter what step you take. It matters that you take a step. It matters that you get out there and you experience the world and, and, and all the beauty and everything that there is. My world is cars and beach life and sometimes crazy ass hikes. I mean, just weird. But I want you guys to get out there and I want you to, to email me. I want you to leave a comment in the, in the comment section and tell me what it is that you did. It's something that's cool so I can look it up and I can discover this world is meant to be explored. And sometimes it's meant to be explored in a cool car. And that's what we do right here on the blog.